Hi, dear Aquarians. Take a beautiful deep breath in, raising your vibration. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Aquarius, we're going to ask Spirit to show you the blocks in your relationship life, and then we're going to go from there. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. I feel like one more is coming. Oh, goodness, if that one wasn't it. Wow. All right. Oh, oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Very fixable. Okay. Um, Aquarius, first of all, you come into the month, and I feel like the placement in the stars for you, what you're standing right underneath is your ability to communicate and be in your element in your in your community in your neighborhood and whether or not you want to stay there aquarius i feel like your your whole base might have changed and you're feeling you know do i stay do i go um you might be deciding to just sell the house you might be deciding to move you might be deciding whether or not you really want to stay and with Atlantis here, though, I really feel the block is in the idealized relationship and whether or not that ship has sailed and uh, whether you two are on that voyage or journey together. But I feel like there's a change in direction here. And just know that even though there is a need to be realistic in your love life. You can fantasize and you can have what you keep dreaming for in relationship life. And if you have, um, if you're single or if you have, um, if you're a widow or widower, I really feel strongly that your, your partner, your spouse is going to be reaching out to you in your dream dreams and going to be connecting with you in your waking state as well thank you so much and so that's not so much a block i feel like it's really you're being fed you're being nourished um and and spirit is also reminding you to nourish yourself also come back in connection with source uh, make sure you have a strong spiritual foundation, a practice, whether it is waking up with gratitude. I wake up with gratitude. I just say thank you, thank you, thank you before I even open my eyes. Or I'm just some kind of way showing gratitude for being alive. And then before I speak to anybody, I am deepening in the word of God in some way, shape, or form, whether it's a YouTube video, an audio, when I'm in the Bible, in my prayer book, in the Katabi Akdas, any, any spiritual sacred text that I have access to, that is the word of our creator. I feel like that brings you back from any imbalance that you have, um, towards a separation as you know we the proverbial the ship has sailed and wanting to go on this journey um this voyage to even fantasize or um this dream that you may not feel like you can really obtain in your love life you certainly can and the beauty about this is um also you did have to go through some stuff and you do have to go through kind of a rite of passage um, with all of this is water of spirituality and the lotus flower has to live in that mucky dirt muddy um, base in order to grow and um, really flourish but if it was in this clean 
crystal clear Mediterranean type water wouldn't even survive. So just remember that um, you are able to still manifest the type of relationship that you truly want and you are able to manifest the type of happiness that you truly desire and you can have that. Before I ask spirit, before we ask spirit for your animal spirit guide, I just want to share where I feel the energy is for you and where you're best placed um, or where you're best served by your placement in the sky and the stars. Um, you know, I feel very strongly that you come into October with this understanding, this awareness of something changing in your community, just in your neighborhood, in your, the, the, the people that you know best, people that know you. I feel like there is just kind of a clarity and your style of communication and your need to communicate differently in your love life. And so you might just be... Um, visiting uh, if you for example if you um, with the pandemic you might be visiting your partner out for coffee instead of your partner or your, the one you're dating coming over so often just some change in going out into your neighborhood and just letting your neighborhood serve as a tool more in your love life. And certainly the way that you communicate that could be on social media more, texting more, calling each other more instead of seeing each other in person. But that brings this beautiful new beginning, this ability to really start a new path mid-month around the 16th and give or take 72 hours certainly thereafter the 16th of this beautiful new foundation and how we're going to do this how how am I going to do my love life how am I going to manifest the type of intimacy and nourishment that I truly deserve how am I going to feel supported how do I make this happen for myself I do want to manifest the type of um, ideal relationship that I have been feeling like I can't have or that people have been telling you you can't have and just understanding that um, it's a new way of life now and you're able to do it your way on your terms not the way people want you to do it and it'd be okay because by the end of the month, I feel very strongly that there's this reality check and there is a release. There is a letting go um, behind the four walls of your home. I feel like the, there could be a move in the works. I feel like there could be just a redesigning of your home, of the rooms, of um, even putting... Um, changing from summer clothes to, to fall and bringing out the comforters and just kind of reorganizing in your home and that really affecting the energy within your space which affects the love because it clears the toxic energy away and I sure do encourage you to sage and if you can't burn the sage certainly get one of our oils or sprays um, from spiritualguidanceacademy.com um, our shop and I feel like that full moon, blue moon, beautiful alchemic energy really does reignite the type of healthy energy within your home life. That really immediately affects your love life, whether you're single or coupled up, just remember that you've got all the resources that you need with the spirit of the, the camel here. Trust it. Trust it that you have everything you need to get through the challenges before you. And let's see what your affirmation is. 
I just feel like you definitely are aligned to make some serious, good, healthy changes in your home life. You sure are. This is your root chakra, your home, your foundation. And this is your affirmation for the month. And this has come out so many times. So make sure you're viewing all of your energy. Your root chakra, this is a need to self-love and to really realign in your home and to get your love life in order by focusing your attention on what you need, what you want to manifest. And with five, the spiritual meaning to five there is this is going to happen. With or without you, it's going to happen. So this, it's not a matter of it's happening to you, it's happening for you with or without your desire for it to happen. And so this is a beautiful new change of fresh new energy in your love life. I have everything I need to survive and grow on this physical plane, okay, with the spirit of the camel there. Also with your root chakra, which is just your foundation, your muladhara. The spirit is moving you from toxic energy and asking for you to desire the healthy connection spirit is guiding you away from unhealthy connections you have with another could be an ex could be even doesn't even have to be a romantic partner could just be a family member or even a close friend and to release your karmic tie with unhealthy toxic relationship right now pray for the void to be replaced with unconditional loving bonds and healthy balanced connections now remember you can manifest the type of nourished connection that you desire and it is ideal and you can have that. The ship has not sailed and you are ready to go on this voyage and I'm proud of you, dear Aquarius. You can have the type of true love, whether that be platonic, whether it be family, whether it be romantic, in your love life, which is, you know, it's not just romantic love. It's family love. It's it's friendship love. It's certainly self-love. But it's embedded in the love that's circulating through, in and out, your home, your, your foundation, your root chakra. And it all begins with self. Well, dear Aquarius, thank you so much. And I pray that if there's anything I can do for you, that you... Click the links down below and I look forward to speaking with you and reading for you very soon. Take great care and remember, you absolutely have the power to manifest the type of love, especially within your home, that you desire.